Welcome to WNL Sports Weekly. I'm Jeremy Franklin. This week we'll speak with women's lacrosse captain Parker Hamill, men's track and field captain Jack Jones, and women's tennis player Mary Hampton McNeil. But first, a quick look back at the weekend in Washington and Lee Athletics. Women's tennis claimed a 5-4 victory over 10th-ranked Carnegie Mellon. Men's tennis fell 7-2 to 7th-ranked CMU and then beat Guilford 8-1. Baseball improved to 8-0 in the ODAC for the first time ever by sweeping a home doubleheader over Lynchburg, downing the Hornets 10-2 and 7-6. At Lynchburg's Jack Tom's Invitational, men's track and field won three events, while the women's team recorded a pair of first-place finishes. And both lacrosse teams stayed unbeaten in conference play. The men scored a 13-10 victory over Lynchburg, while the women defeated Virginia Wesley in 19-4. I'm joined now by Parker Hamill, senior lacrosse captain from Darien, Connecticut. Parker, welcome to the show. Hello. WNL opened up ODAC play last week with convincing wins over both Virginia Wesleyan and Roanoke. How pleased were you with the focus that the team showed in your first two ODAC games? I think we were all really excited about these first two games. The ODAC play is always a great time for everybody on our team to step up, some new faces to show on the field, and I think everyone really sh showed up to play for these past two games. The Generals came into this week ranked sixth in the country in goals against average. What makes WNL so strong on defense? Well, we've been practicing some new defensive um, plays these past few weeks, and it's a little bit higher pressure than we're used to, and I think we're able to achieve that with our depth in the defense and our new fitness that we worked on in the offseason. We have two first years that have really showed up this season and helped out back there. Riley Garcia is back from an injury last spring, and I think we're all just really connecting on the defense. You are not the first Hamill to play a sport at WNL. You probably won't be the last. Your brother Hudson is a first year on the men's lacrosse team. How did those family connections influence your decision to become a general? Yeah, well, both my dad and my sister have graduated from Washington Lee, so I've been um, coming to campus since I was really little. They never pressured me to come to WNL. Actually, quite the opposite. They wanted to make sure I was 100% aware of all of my options going to college and that I was really making this decision for me. But I could say since I was probably in middle school that I wanted to come here and play lacrosse like my sister did before me. Looking ahead on the schedule, WNL has a big game against Randolph-Macon on April 15th. That's coming out of exam break against the team you've played in the last two ODAC championship contest. How do you prepare for a long layoff like that and trying to come out sharp for such an important contest? Yeah, we've talked about that a lot this past week. Um, I think we're really excited to have a competitive game right after um, finals. We tell our first years, we try to like help them through the um, process and let them know that really it's the best if you can try to front load the first part of the week and get all of your exams over with, but we're always there to support them. Um, I think throughout the week it's something we always do is try to get meals in together or study together so that you know the team and the chemistry is always in the back of your head, watching film whenever you have a few minutes to spare, stuff like that. Parker, thanks for joining us. Best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you. With me in the studio is Jack Jones, senior track and field captain from Lookout Mountain, Georgia. Jack, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Looking back to the end of February, WNL won the ODAC Indoor Championship. It was the general's first conference title in almost three decades. What does that accomplishment mean to you and your classmates to come during your senior season? Um, especially for us seniors, it meant a lot this year. I mean, this was the culmination of you know, four years of long work for us. But I think especially for just this program, too, it's meant a lot more than that. Because even coming in as a freshman, um, this program has built up over the last couple of years. Uh, you go look at the record board now, and most of the records are held by people within the last five or six years who've come through the program. So it's been a long road to get here, but it was really rewarding to have it finally come uh, at the end of this season. And I think it meant a lot for even people who've graduated in recent years to see this program finally end up here. You're now two events into the outdoor season. How is the spring going so far? Uh, the spring's going really well. I mean, I think everyone is always really excited to end the indoor season and finally get outside. Uh, we've got some nice weather. Um, it's always fun starting with the first meet being the carnival here at home. It's usually our only opportunity to compete at home, although we'll have ODAX hosted here as well this year. Um, but it's, it's, it's been really good. I mean, we've had some great performances. Um, we're, we're currently doing really well in the ODAX standings in terms of individual performances, and we're excited looking toward the end of the season. What are the general's expectations for the ODAC outdoor meet? Um, we're, we're in it to win this year, and I think building off of the success of our indoor meet, we're going to put ourselves in the best possible position to do so. Um, there are some other deep and talented teams in the ODAC, especially Bridgewater, who's won the last couple before, um, before this winter. But, you know, I think that this is, since it's literally the culmination of, uh, you know, 10 months of training for us, who train throughout the summer and then the fall and then the winter as well, I think we're going to be in a good position, and I think we're going to be uh, rested and ready and healthy and you know, good to go for hopefully what's going to be the last last part of our Triple Crown for the cross country and track this season. 
Jack, thanks for being here. Best of luck throughout the spring. Thank you for having me. Here with me now is Mary Hampton McNeil, sophomore tennis player from Beaufort, South Carolina. Mary Hampton, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. WNL just finished up a stretch of five straight matches against nationally ranked opponents. You won four of those with the only loss coming to number two Williams. How were the generals able to perform so well against such a high level of competition? Um, we have had a busy few weeks. Um, we brought in six really talented freshmen, and I think that's just allowed us to be so much deeper this year. Um, and we had a lot of injuries last year, and now with um, we have so many healthy players, it's great. We can play five big matches in two weeks and not worry about injury or anything. So. Two of those recent victories came by five to four score lines. You were the one to score the decisive point in a win over Trinity. What's it like to, to claim a singles victory that determines the overall outcome in favor of your team? Um, I've been lucky and unlucky to play a lot of deciding matches, um, and I've won some and I've lost some, but uh, winning the deciding match is such a good feeling because you see your teammates working so hard around you, and just to be able to like close out that match and like um, everyone can feel the reward of all their hard work is, is a great feeling. And it, was, it was a fun match. <laughs> Last year, you were one of several first years in the regular singles and doubles rotation for W now. Now that you're well into your sophomore season, can you see the benefits that you gained from that early experience? Definitely. I think freshman year, uh, a lot of players feel this way, but um, it's just a big transition uh, from junior tennis to, to college tennis. Um, it's, a, it's a different mentality to play on a team than to play by yourself. So I think this season I've been a lot more confident and, um, and felt uh, definitely the benefits of playing freshman year. It's been good. WNL has some big matches remaining. You've got Emory and Johns Hopkins in particular mid-April. How valuable will it be to play teams of that caliber right before the postseason? We do have some big matches coming up. Um, I think it'll be great. It'll give us a lot of confidence going into ODAC, so I think we'll perform really well there. And then um, in postseason, we hopefully will play Emory again, so it'll, it'll give us a, a first look at them. So it'll be exciting. Mary Hampton, thanks for joining us. Good luck throughout the spring. Thank you. It's time now for a look at the upcoming weekend. The track and field teams head to High Point for a two-day meet, which starts on Friday. On Saturday, baseball visits number 12 Randolph-Macon for a key ODAC doubleheader. Men's lacrosse takes on Guilford at Wilson Field, and women's lacrosse hits the road to face Lynchburg. Women's tennis squares off against Barry Washington in Fredericksburg on Sunday. Both golf teams will travel to Greensboro. The men will compete in the Grand Over Match Play invite, while the women take part in the Greensboro Spring Invitational. And on Monday night, baseball will play host to Southern Virginia. For WNL Sports Weekly, I'm Jeremy Franklin. Thanks for watching.